We know about these solar heaters, which are used to heat water of a pool, and many of you came up with the idea of turning them into similar flat plate solar collectors, because these collectors are several times more expensive than the solar pool heaters. Let's take a look at how I put this idea into practice when I use this solar pool heater, put it on a sheet of expanded polystyrene and cover it with a cheap transparent film. But it is obvious that such solar collector will be more efficient if we use a glass sheet or cellular polycarbonate instead of the transparent film. This is one of my experiments, and here we see that water leaves the solar pool heater under a transparent film, and the water temperature is almost 95 degrees Celsius when the ambient temperature was 26 degrees. But this water was not moving inside the heater for a long time, and it is obvious that the heating temperature will be less if the water is circulated through the heater. This is another my experiment, when the pool heater under the transparent film has heated 26 liters of water of this tank from a temperature of 20 degrees to 55 degrees Celsius for 2 hours. But now I show the sky during that heating, and we see that a large number of clouds prevented the heating to a higher temperature, and the ambient temperature was only 20 degrees Celsius. So, we have many opportunities to buy a solar pool heater and cover it with a transparent film, glass sheet or cellular polycarbonate. But I use this pool heater, which was made in China from two gluid polyvinyl fluoride films with a thickness of about half a millimeter and with these dimensions. Now I am showing the proposals of different sellers of that Chinese solar heater and I bought it for $18 from one of the Ukrainian sellers. We can calculate that it is about $12 per square meter of the black heater, including these unnecessary plastic things. We must understand that it is several times cheaper than these conventional pool heaters. And this solar collector based on this Chinese heater is about 10 times cheaper than these flat plate solar collectors, which consist of this glass, this thermal insulation and this expensive metal absorber that we replace by this cheap Chinese polymer product or by some other inexpensive solar pool heater. However, let's take a look at the disadvantages of our homemade solar collector compared to these expensive collectors. First, the efficiency of our homemade collector will be worse, and I will compare the heat production with expensive collectors in a few minutes. Secondly, these pool heaters usually have a shorter lifespan because solar radiation is gradually destroying their polymers. In addition, their lifespan will be even less due to the fact that we violate their operation manual when we cover them with a transparent film, glass or other type of transparent sheets. Third, we know that these expensive flat plate solar collectors are able to withstand high temperatures of about 200 degrees Celsius during their stagnation. But it is obvious that the polymers of these pool heaters can be destroyed by the high temperature of their stagnation under a glass sheet or other transparent covering. Therefore, they require such experiments, which have already been done by me for cases of the stagnation of the Chinese heater under a transparent film, and the last minutes of this video will show these experiments. This cheap Chinese heater has additional problems, and for example, it has these three inlets and outlets instead of the conventional two, and these inlets have an inconvenient direction. In addition, the outer diameter of the inlets and outlets is too large, and it is equal to 32 mm. Moreover, we see these signs of deformation of this Chinese heater when it is filled with water, and these deformations can prevent its fixation inside the body of its collector. Now the left video shows our Chinese heater when water circulates through it, and the right video shows the empty heater. We need to pay attention here to understand that the height of the empty heater is 10 cm more, due to the fact that the water pressure makes these water passes more rounded. This is the real dimensions of the Chinese heater when it is filled with water, and therefore its real area is about 11% less than its sellers say. Therefore the cost of its square meter is no longer $12, but 13 and a half. It may seem that these homemade solar heaters are better, but they do not have the following useful feature of our new solar collectors on the basis of pool heaters, and now I am starting to show this feature. The pump was turned off about half a minute ago, and the water automatically leaves our solar collector through this outlet. 
Thus, almost all the water will leave my solar collector in a few minutes. Therefore, it will not freeze in winter if we use these known schemes with this name to connect the collectors with their water tank. So, leaving the water from the collector continues, and I have to clarify that this third outlet passes the surrounded air into my solar collector when the water leaves it. Now the water has already left my solar collector almost completely, and I plan to use this feature for this winter version of our collector for solar heating of a house, because another advantage of our homemade collector is that it is lightweight. Therefore, we will be able to quickly install a large number of such solar collectors in the autumn for solar heating of a house, and we will be able to quickly remove them in the spring to free up land for green lawn, agriculture or other purposes. Now, this solar collector is fixed only by the weight of these sandbags, and if we want to quickly remove the collector, the bags are removed, and then we disconnect this screw. After that, our solar collector has such compact dimensions to store it until autumn, but it is obvious that these ideas require technical testing, which I have planned for the coming winter. This solar collector under a cheap transparent film has these energy parameters according to my experimental measurement. Unfortunately, the accuracy of the measurement was low and therefore I plan to measure the parameters more precisely in the near future. We can compare these measurements with these parameters of expensive flat plate solar collectors, which have a similar graph of this thermal capacity of their 1 square meters, depending on the temperature difference between the fluid inside the collector and the ambient air. Our homemade solar collector under a transparent film will have approximately such graph. But if we replace that transparent film by a glass sheet, our collector has something like this. Covering the solar pool heater with cellular polycarbonate will give approximately such graph. So, an expensive flat plate solar collector will be better than our homemade collectors for these cases of a large temperature difference between liquid of its pipes and the ambient air, due to the fact that its absorber has a selective coating, which is absent in our homemade collectors. This table describes the heat production from every 1 square meter of an expensive solar collector during one absolutely sunny day, and the heat production of our homemade collectors under a transparent film, under a glass sheet, and under cellular polycarbonate for some cases of solar heating of a house. This heat production was calculated according to these energy parameters of the solar collectors. We can see that the expensive solar collectors will produce more heat from one square meter of their surface, and semi-sunny days give the expensive collectors an even greater advantage. But I remind you that their square meter is about 10 times more expensive than our homemade collectors. Therefore, the use of our homemade collectors makes good economic sense for these cases of low water temperature in a home heating system. Now I will describe my experiments with a duration of 4 summer days when my solar collector was without water and it had this position. Therefore, the sun heated the black Chinese heater to temperatures of about 110 degrees Celsius. Usually in the evening I did such test of workability of the collector and here we see that water normally circulates through it. Sometimes I did similar tests at sunny noon when the Chinese heater had the high temperature, and we see that the collector remains workable. In addition, I did such tests when I filled the Chinese heater with water in the morning and waited for the sun heats the water to a high temperature. It is interesting that this test led to the fact that the Chinese black heater stuck to the sheet of expanded polystyrene, because the high temperature is slightly melted the polystyrene. Now we see the condition of my black Chinese heater after those four summer days of its heating by the sun to high temperatures without water. Therefore, we understand that the heater can withstand temperatures up to 110 degrees Celsius, and water can circulate through it without problems after that. However, the expanded polystyrene of my solar collector does not withstand these high temperatures. If we don't want the polystyrene to melt like this, the temperature inside our solar collector should not exceed 100 degrees Celsius, or we have to change the structure of the thermal insulation of the collector. 
Before these four sunny days of the testing, I did similar tests with the solar collector with such more vertical position during three days, and the temperature of the black Chinese heater rarely exceeded 95 degrees Celsius. Prior to this, a similar tests were done with such vertical position during two days, and the maximum heating temperatures of the solar collector were only 80 degrees Celsius. Of course, we understand that our solar collector should not be operated in this way, without water. This is because the lifespan of this Chinese solar heater is reduced due to the chemical degradation of this polyvinyl chloride at the temperatures of more than 60 or 70 degrees Celsius. Furthermore, the temperature of about 100 degrees radically accelerates the chemical degradation. Thus, these experiments were just researched to find answers to the question of what is going on with this black Chinese heater if it happens to be in stagnation when its water circulation stops by accident, or it will be without water during sunny weather. So, this my experiments told us that the Chinese pool heater under transparent film can be operated without problems in winter and summer. But abnormal summer heat above 40 degrees Celsius can increase the heating temperature of the solar collector to a level higher than 120 degrees, and I remind you that my experiments heated the black Chinese heater only to 110 degrees Celsius. Replacing this transparent film with a glass sheet will increase the heating temperature by 10 or 15 degrees. Therefore, now I am only sure that the Chinese heater under glass can be operated in winter. Or we can use it in summer, but in such almost vertical position, because such horizontal position under glass can heat the solar collector higher than 120 or 30 degrees Celsius. If we put our Chinese pool heater under a sheet of cellular polycarbonate, the heating temperature will be even greater, and therefore I am ready to use a similar solar collector only in such vertical position or only in winter.